The new Trezor Say 3 hardware wallet has finally hit the market. It is the newest and most affordable hardware wallet to come from Trezor. In this video, we will unbox, review, and show you how to use the new Trezor Say 3 hardware wallet. In my opinion, Trezor is the best hardware wallet brand, especially after the scenario that happened with Ledger a few months back. So welcome back again. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Alt Crypto Talk team. For the first time ever on our YouTube channel, we are reviewing a product. So remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever and be sure to follow us on twitter at alt crypto gems for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides project reviews articles and everything crypto related okay guys let's jump straight into the video so guys let's start off by opening up our treasure safe 3 it's come in a little cheap box i'm not going to lie but overall the design looks wicked and basically, it shows you everything about the Trezor Safe 3 on the box. It comes in a cardboard surrounding showing all the information about the Safe 3. And inside, it's just a cheap form of cardboard. The Trezor 1, however, comes in a much better box. But no need to worry, let's open up this box. And on the side of the box, you'll see a peel. So you can peel open the box. Make sure to open the box correctly, as if you need to send it back. Then we'll want to make sure that you haven't messed up the box. So obviously, just open it up properly, and it should be okay if you need to send it back, which should not happen anyway. However, now we're opening the box. We can can see that we've got two things we've got our treasure and a little green box within the box saying get started now let's start off with opening up our treasure which comes in a fully sealed plastic sticker as you can see it's very nice it looks very fresh as it should be and what we're going to do is guys we're going to be peeling this white sticker and you're going to do it very carefully and very nicely it's a very nice feeling as well i must say so as you peel it back softly you'll see everything appear you'll see the logo on the back and then as soon as you get to the front you'll see the buttons and the screen and then once you finally peeled it guys at the bottom of the treasure you'll see another sticker this is a holographic sticker that is very important if that sticker is not there or has been tampered with then you will need to send back your treasure but for now let's put the treasure back in the box and let's open up the little green box this little green box is your get started box so it will include some little things things to help you get started with setting up your treasure obviously so as you open up the box you'll see firstly get started and it'll give you some instructions now obviously this video is going to show you how to do so we're going to skip that but it's also got some stickers such as the treasure logo and obviously love bitcoin which which most of us probably do and then obviously you get a couple recovery seed pieces of paper which allows you to write down your seed phrase and then you can store it safely so as it says on the front, don't make digital copies, just bear that in mind for later. That is a reference and an important one. And then at the back, it tells you to write down your pin, your name, and then within that paper, you can write down your seed phrase. So also within the box, we've got your USB-C cable, which allows you to connect your hardware wallet into your desktop or laptop. Obviously, you're going to have to have a USB-C slot. So if you don't have one, you're going to need to get one or an adapter even. But moving on, now you can see everything in the box. We've got the stickers, the recovery seed pieces of paper, the treasure itself, the cable, and the instructions. Now guys, we're officially on the Trezor website, which is Trezor.io, and I will leave a link in the description below so you find the website safely. And this is the Trezor Safe 3. We've just unboxed it, as you have seen, and this product goes for 79 euros on the dot. Now, before I show you how to set up the Trezor Safe 3, let me go through all of the product features, and then we will dive straight into it. So, as you can see, Trezor Safe 3 is the newest hardware wallet with secure element protection, open source design, and on-device confirmation. It's got coin management in the Trezor suite, which I'll show you shortly. We've got a 0.96 inch monochromatic OLED screen. It's a universal wallet, not the Bitcoin only wallet, which is sold out at the moment. You can also choose the normal universal wallet in different colors. So I chose mine in black, as you saw, but you can choose it in different colors, such as Galactic Rose, Stellar Silver, or even Solar Gold. So they all look pretty nice. However, I went with the black one because that is pretty standard and I like the color black. So manage your crypto in Trezor suite, which we're going to do. We're going to download that app very shortly as it is essential to using the Trezor. The Trezor Safe 3 handles over 8,000 cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, OKX, Ethereum, Uniswap, USDC, Dogecoin, and so many more, which we'll go through shortly again. However, guys, now that you know all about the Trezor Safe 3, let's go and set it up. And guys, the next step, once you have your Trezor hardware wallet at hand, just like me, we are going to download the app so we can set it all up and get started so at the top here you can see app which we're obviously going to click and as you can see we can either download the treasure suite for web or we can download it for the desktop which is the recommended version so i'm going to be doing that and i'm going to be downloading it from mac so click download for desktop your download is started at the top as we can see it's very important to make sure that you're on the correct Trezor website guys so click the link down below don't use any dodgy links otherwise you could get compromised and lose all of your assets so click the Trezor suite once it's done and what you have to do is guys you have to add the Trezor suite into your applications just like so and as we can see it has now been added to our applications. so if we go into our applications you want to open up the application 
and as you can see it says connect your Trezor. And as you may remember guys, when we opened up the box we got a wire that came with the Trezor and obviously you're going to need to use that and, and put it into your laptop or computer and then connect it to your Trezor device. So I'm going to be putting in my wire with my Trezor, but guys just before you open it, remember there is a seal on the hardware wallet as you can see. This Trezor sticker guys, if it's not on the hardware wallet when you first got it, you need to send this back ASAP as the wallet may be compromised. So it's very important that you unpeel this sticker freshly and you're the only one that has done so. So I'm going to peel it off. It can be a very annoying sticker guys, it'll probably be there for the rest of time. However, it's essential that we have these stickers, otherwise we could have a compromised wallet and that would be no good obviously. So once you've got your wallet set up, you've taken off the sticker, you connect it into the device just like so and you will see a little message pop up saying get started with your Trezor at trezor.io forward slash start. So it says allow accessory to connect which we want to do, click allow. Trezor device connected. Here it says anonymous data collection, so we want to click confirm. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna move my camera over to the other side so it's easier to see, just like so. As you can see guys, it says you are connected to a Trezor Safe 3. Device security check. My hologram was intact and untampered with. Your hologram is that sticker I was talking about guys, so make sure it was untampered, otherwise you'll have to send back your device. My device was bought from the official Trezor shop or a trusted reseller. Correct, I bought it from the official Trezor website, which I'll leave linked down in the description below. And the device package was intact and untampered with. That I can confirm. However, I was pretty scared because it was left halfway through my post box and someone could have easily stolen that. So I'm very lucky I still have my Trezor. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click set up my Trezor. I do not have any doubts. It takes 20 minutes, so bear that in mind. Now, we have to install the firmware onto our device. So every now and then, guys, you will get an update for your Trezor wallet, which requires an update. And this is just to keep your security at 100%. So we want to install the firmware to our hardware wallet. Up the top, it's giving us a Google Chrome notification, but we'll ignore that for now until we need to set up our wallet it fully. Once that's complete, we'll move on to the next stage. So allow accessory to connect. Yes, we do. Allow it. So now we can click continue. Let's check your device. This check is a must do step to ensure your device reliability, integrity and secure use. This confirms that the chip inside your hardware wallet is genuine and from Trezor. Once your device has been given a clean bill of health, you're all set to Trezor with confidence. Guys, I absolutely love this. I love how secure they are, how many security checks they're doing. This is absolutely fantastic and exactly what we need if we're going to be our own bank. If you don't know the important of hardware wallets then in the future we'll make a video as it is a very very big and important topic so on your Trezor guys you're going to get a message saying authenticate device allow connected computer to confirm your Trezor Safe 3 is genuine now two buttons are on this device as we have mentioned earlier and one is obviously allow and, and the other is obviously disallow so if you can see that what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be clicking the allow button so obviously it's the button on the left Obviously, it's the button on the right hand side. So I'll click allow. Very simple, nice little button as well to click. Very quick. So congratulations, we are through. Click continue. Know your treasure. Know your treasure. Learn how to use your device with the help of a short tutorial. Let's continue. So we've got to click the button again on the treasure. Welcome to treasure. Use treasure by clicking the left and right buttons. Continue right. Hold to confirm. Press and hold the right button to approve important operations. So obviously, once you confirm transactions and, and interact with smart contracts, whenever you have to complete a transaction, you'll have to hold the confirm button on your Trezor device. So I'm going to click hold. Next thing you know, it says screen scroll. Press right to scroll down to read all the content when text doesn't fit on one. Screen. Press left to scroll up. No problem. Continue. Press both left and right at the same time to confirm. So to confirm, you just click both buttons at the same time once it asks you. Tutorial complete. You're ready to use your Trezor. You can complete the tutorial again, or you can continue, which we are going to do. Now, we are officially in. The tutorial is completed. Next step, we click continue. And from here, guys, we're not going to be recovering a wallet. I'm going to be creating a new wallet just to show you how to set up a brand new Trezor wallet. Now, most of you obviously are going to be creating a new wallet. However, if you want to recover a wallet, you would just click this button and input your seed phrase. From here, I want to create a new wallet. So I'm going to click this and then we're going to choose how you want to back up our Trezor. This process will also create a standard wallet for you. So it depends on which option you want to go through. So I'm going to be choosing the standard seed backup because I prefer a seed phrase. However, you can use the advanced Shamir backup, which allows you to recover the wallet by combining lists of words together. These can be secured in different places for added security. So personally, I'm going to be going for the standard seed backup. Like I mentioned, I want 12 words and those 12 words will be written down on a piece of paper very securely. So click standard seed backup on your Trezor. Once again, it says create wallet by continuing. You agree to Trezor's company's terms and conditions. Click the right button. More info trezor.io forward slash TOS. 
So click the right button again to create wallet. As you can see, it is processing and our wallet is almost ready. So we need to create the backup seed phrase. You can skip it, but I definitely would not recommend that. So let's create a backup. And this is where it tells you exactly what to do and what not to do. So a recovery seed backup is a series of randomly generated words created by your Trezor. It's important that you write down your recovery seed and keep it safe as it is the only way to recover and access your funds. Your recovery seed lets you recover your funds in case of Trezor loss or damage. Never take a picture or make a digital copy of your backup. Store your recovery seed wallet backup securely and never share it with anyone. So you must click all these buttons if you understand each and every one of them and then we can begin creating our seed phrase. Every time we've set up a MetaMask wallet or a Coinbase wallet or any wallet we've created, we've always had a seed phrase and it's very important you write it down on a piece of paper. You don't write it on any technological device as your wallet can become compromised. So click begin backup and then on your treasure device once again it says never make a digital copy of your backup or upload it online which I have mentioned multiple times and then you click both buttons on your hardware wallet to confirm that you understand. So standard backup write down all 12 words in order so it's going to come up on your hardware wallet guys not on the computer so you're going to click the right button to show the words just like it's asking you here standard backup write down all 12 words in order and then you click the right button to show the words now just to confirm one more time guys that you have written down all 12 words in order on a piece of paper not on any technological device you haven't taken a photo of any kind it's all on a piece of paper secure or on a steel metal sheet so make sure you've confirmed this after you've done that guys it's going to ask you to check the backup and on your device it's going to ask you to confirm these words so as you can see on my device it says check backup select the correct word for each position click confirm so select the third word thing and to select it guys to go right you have to press the right button if you want to go left you press the left button to confirm the word you click both buttons the seventh word and then your twelfth word which each word will be different for each other and obviously they will give you different numbers to choose so everyone will be different just bear that in mind success you have finished verifying your recovery seed click continue so backup is done keep it safe and continue once again now we have not set a pin so this is what we're going to be doing next i've done my seed phrase that is the most important part however a little pin to add some extra security to your treasure device will not go unmissed so click continue to pin and we're going to set a strong pin so that no one can access our hardware wallet other than us physically. So click set pin, confirm on your treasure what the pin is going to be. You can either turn on pin protection or you can turn it off. You don't actually have to have it. Pin will be required to access this device. I'm actually going to click turn on because I think it's important. Pin should be four to 50 digits long. 50 is way too many guys. You don't have to do that many. Four is plenty or even six, five, seven, eight, nine or 10. But you don't want it to be too long. So Make sure you write down your pin as well. Position of the cursor will change between entries for enhanced security. And once again, guys, to confirm your pin, you would just go left with the left button and right with the right button and then two buttons to confirm the number. And then once you've done that, you click the enter button and then you click confirm with both buttons and it will process your pin within five seconds and you are good to go just like so. So success, pin protection turned on. As we can see, guys, this is not an essential. It's completely up to you. This is just an extra form of security. Just in case you're on holiday and you have your Trezor wallet there, someone picks it up and confirms a transaction because they didn't have a pin on the hardware wallet. That is bad news. So make sure you have one if you're going to be using it away, especially. So click continue. Now we've set a pin. Like I said, make sure you've written it down and kept it safe. Put it alongside your seed phrase or something or even on a separate piece of paper. And then from here, guys, we're going to click continue. So we can activate some currencies on our wallet. This isn't actually very important, but me personally, I'm going to focus on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the included ERC20 tokens, which is the thousands. Now, obviously, you can choose all of these other ones if you want to hold them. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to choose these three, for example. Complete setup. And then you can edit the name of your treasure. So when it pops up on your screen, it says, for example, I don't know, hi, crypto guy. You don't actually have to have a name on here, guys. It's just really cool. I just like it anyway. So I'm going to click edit name. And then you just go into your treasure and it says device name, change device name to high crypto guy i'm going to click change and now if you take a look at my trezor it says high crypto guy which i think is a cool little touch it's a nice little feature they know it's mine no one else is going to take it so let's click access suite and then from here guys we're going to click access hidden wallet and you're basically going to bypass the passphrase as we do not have one so access hidden wallet and it's just loading up the account your wallet is ready to use. In the meantime, make sure you have completed all security steps below, which we have done. And guys, this is basically it. We are officially on the Trezor app. We've enabled our backup. We've enabled the pin. We've enabled the passphrase. And we can also enable discrete mode if you want to hide your balances. So if you go over to accounts now, 
you can see all of your assets on the left hand side for example your xrp wallet ethereum wallet and bitcoin wallet so you can add more accounts as well guys you're not restricted to bitcoin ethereum and xrp if you want to get assets now into your trezor wallet all you have to do is say if it was bitcoin you would click receive this is your bitcoin address you click show full address and then what you would do is if you had bitcoin say for example on coinbase you would copy this address and then you would paste that address on your centralized exchange and then you would send your bitcoin over to this wallet address and then your bitcoin would come into your trezor wallet same thing goes with ethereum and all erc20 tokens if you want to receive assets you would just click receive show full address once again i would just copy this address say if i go over to my metamask account where i can send some assets let's just say i'm on ethereum and i want to add some tokens i can add a token let's just say you have usdc which you want to add i'll go over to google I'm going to go over to CoinMarketCap. I'm going to find USDC, just like so. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to get this wallet address over here and copy that to clipboard. Head back over to my Trezor app, paste the wallet address, add token. As you can see, they know it's the USDC coin. And if I was to send USDC to this wallet, I would have USDC in my account. Very secure in my Trezor hardware wallet where no one can touch it unless they have my seed phrase. Now guys, also if you have assets in here and you wanna send them around, you just click the send button. It's very simple. You just enter the address you're sending to, enter the amount that you're sending to, and then just click review and send. Very straightforward. And obviously guys, you can buy direct off the Trezor platform using on and off ramps. So for example, if I wanna buy Ethereum or any of these other assets that are available, I'll just click the amount I wanna do in my currency, 100 pounds. Click compare offers, it'll give you the best offers and best rates. Choose which one you want to do and then just click buy. The great thing is you can also use the sell feature which allows you to sell directly from your Trezor account and go straight into your bank account. Also, you can exchange assets. So for example, you can swap ETH into other cryptocurrencies, for example, ADA, and it will go directly into your wallet once again. And basically, guys, that is it for the Trezor platform. You can take a look at your entire dashboard, see all of your assets, guys. You can enable more cryptocurrencies. It's a great little app. It's very simple to use. You can just come on here, change all of your settings. You can enable a Tor network and change the color scheme. You can check everything. You can join an early access program to find new product features before they are released. You can go to your device and just check up your backup. You can check your version is up to date to make sure that you haven't got any updates that you need to do. You can switch to a Bitcoin only wallet, which is cool. You can change your pin. You can enter a passphrase. They've got so many different things that you can do on here, guys. And you can even upload an image as your background. Now, there's so many cool features. I think this is so much better than the Ledger hardware wallet. I've got a Ledger hardware wallet. However, since they're big issue, I have not been using them and I will never use them again. I will always use Trezor as long as I live. Obviously, I can change my mind if a new product does come out however for now i do love trezor i always have done and guys i've also got the trezor one hardware wallet which i just want to quickly show you this hardware wallet is my absolute favorite although i do love this new trezor say three the trezor hard the trezor one wallet is so much cooler so much sleeker it's got its own little touch screen i do wish it was a tiny bit bigger however i'm assuming in the future they will have a bigger one but i do love both of these products i think they're both worth having if you're looking for a more affordable option then the trezor say three is probably best for you as the trezor one obviously costs a lot more around the 250 30 euro price point this one costs around 80 euros so it's a much more affordable option for most people however if you like treasure wallets then i would definitely recommend collecting the collection guys that's pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever if you want us to review any other products or any protocols let us know in the comment section down below and we'll be sure to do so one more thing guys we also have a promotion running on bybit the best centralized exchange platform for buying trading and earning bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to four thousand three hundred and eighty dollars just by signing up using the link in the description below it's simple if you need help finding the right crypto gems then follow us on twitter at alt crypto gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews crypto guides and more thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative until next time dgens